Hey guys, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to discuss Sony's recent expansion into the crypto ecosystem itself with an acquisition of Amber Group Japan. And what they've done through Amber Group is purchase an exchange called Whalefin. And Whalefin was subject to the FDX debacle, the crash and everything that ensued following that. I also want to go over the idea of FIFA points how that has been implemented and how that's probably going to be a tokenized asset in the future, especially with the release of FIFA 2025 on the horizon. The interesting thing is cryptocurrency and crypto markets, NFT markets themselves have always existed in the gaming sector. So let me just give you a brief overview of the history of Sony and just how long they've been around for. Sony was founded on the 7th of May 1946. This is shortly after World War II ending. So they've been around for a substantial amount of time and they have led many tech booms in the past and they will lead many tech booms in the future. They are a company that pride themselves in customer service and ensuring that they are at the forefront of absolutely everything that they can be. So when it comes down to Japan expanding their interest, not just into crypto, but acquiring exchanges, this really does start to play into the global crypto narrative. So Sony, a leading conglomerate in Japan, is set to launch a crypto exchange following its acquisition of Amber Japan. According to a July 1st statement, Sony will become the new owner of Amber Japan's Whale Fin Exchange, which will be renamed to S.Blox Co. In addition to redesigning the UI screen, the renewal of Whale Fin will include the release of a new app to provide an easier to use service. After the renewal, we also plan to further expand the supported currencies and functions. However, the release did not provide information on when this new exchange would become operational. So this acquisition comes over two years after the Singapore-based Amber Group acquired Dikaran, a regulated Japanese crypto exchange, and rebranded it as Amber Japan. So reports revealed that the exchange faced significant challenges in 2022 due to his exposure to the collapse FTX exchange, leading to substantial losses. To mitigate financial issues, Amber Japan raised $300 million in a Series C funding round in December 2022 with investments from Fembushi Capital, Tamasek, Sikoa, China, and this funding aimed to protect customers affected by the FTX collapse. So Sony's acquisition follows Amber Group's announcement in April 2023 that it was considering selling its Japanese subsidiary to a focus on an institutional rather than a retail business. So this acquisition will expand Sony Group's portfolio to include the crypto alongside its gaming, music and electronics businesses. The move is also expected to boost Sony's market value beyond its current value of $100 billion. So this is not Sony's first foray into the emerging industry. In 2023, Sony filed a patent for an NFT framework to enable the use of NFTs as in-game assets across its gaming platforms. This is why I think the whole FIFA point concept is very interesting. And I think they've been studying this for a significant amount of time. And when it comes down to these kind of things, I really start to think about how the big dogs in the game are going to use and utilize this stuff moving forward. And more importantly, how Japan is going to use and utilize this moving forward. So all of this really does play into a current narrative that is underway I would say in Japan and it's Japan themselves going round and terminating different exchanges and the first exchange we are to see this with is gate.io and this is all part of a compliance package that's coming forward so Japan themselves have been at the absolute forefront of fair and safe regulation even to the point of allowing nfts cryptocurrency uh, to be part of their citizens portfolios investment portfolios and then also determining that xrp itself is not a security that has always been the case there everybody here on the channel knows how crypto positive 
Japan is. The signs are there. So crypto exchange gate.io has terminated its services in Japan. It announced on Monday suggesting a lack of compliance in the nation. It said that it would comply with the laws and regulations in Japan and support customers who wish to transition to compliant cryptocurrency exchanges within Japan. The company's website does not show it has regulatory approval in Japan and the company is headquartered in Georgetown, Cayman Islands. As one of the world's leading cryptocurrency exchanges, we strive to comply with financial regulations in all regions in which we operate. Based on this commitment, we regret to inform you that we will be terminating our services for Japan. Once again, this is all coming down to regulatory pressures and compliance requests. So Japan's financial services agency, was the, which is the FSA, resulted in a decision, but one report suggested it Gate.io is not listed as a registered entity on the FCA, sorry, the FSA website. The FSA and Gate.io did not immediately respond to Coindesk requests for comment. As of Monday itself, the exchange will suspend an opening of new accounts for customers residing in Japan. Other details of the schedule for suspension of services in accordance with the compliance requests from authorities such as Japan's Financial Services Agency will be announced later, the company said. So Japan's Financial Services Agency previously warned that four other crypto exchanges were operating the country without proper regulation. And the Mt. Gox hack in 2014 resulted in Japan becoming one of the earliest countries worldwide to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges with some of the strictest consumer protection legislation worldwide. So this statement really does start to give us an idea and a bigger picture of the mere fact that Sony is probably working in correlation with the government, with the FSA over there to get a compliant crypto exchange put forward. Because after all, hasn't Sony led many tech booms previously and aren't they going to lead many tech booms in the future? This is definitely something I would like to get your answer on in the comment section. So let me know what you think. Now let's move over to these FIFA points and the situation that surrounds FIFA points in themselves. So in a new survey that's recently been released, the the amount of money that is being spent on FIFA points overall is pretty substantial in this article i'll leave a link to it goes over it it goes into the depths of just exactly how these fifa points are used how they carry over and when you start to break this down and you start to simplify it and you start to compare it to current blockchain technology what it does the idea the concept behind it fifa points are a form of cryptocurrency at this point they're just not listed on any exchanges and you can only buy them through ea so as we can see here, 16.16% 16 .16 spent nothing. One to $100 was 17.65%. And the list goes upwards. Some people, 2.17% of people had spent over $10,000 on FIFA points. Now FIFA points in themselves, they do carry over, which is really good if you fork a blockchain your coins are forked, they move over, um, you can still use them. And that's the same with FIFA points. So there's a very similar comparison when it comes down to uh, the route that is being laid out in front of us, because inherently these things already exist. And before FIFA points, long before FIFA points, the Steam marketplace itself has existed for a very long time. And you probably saw in the screenshot at the beginning, that the market itself is worth a considerable amount of money. Now, when it comes down to the way that that works and everything that surrounds it, the likelihood is in the future, we're going to see a situation where Steam transitions to having its own CEX, where they have their own coin, which is used to barter for all of these different items that are available on the Steam marketplace. So one of the most interesting aspect is definitely Counter-Strike skins. And these are some of the most valued items that are on the Steam marketplace. So when it comes down to this and you really do start to look into it, there's a huge amount of value already in the gaming sector. They're already used to being able to earn items in game that they can then go on 
and sell. Another interesting aspect is a few of my different friends in the gaming sector actually spend their lives and all of their spare time when they've got it creating arc bases to sell them on different websites, third party websites. So once again, when you develop something, there's definitely value in it. And what I think is the gaming being game by sector in crypto is inherently hugely undervalued. And I think what's going to happen over time is big players like Sony are going to come in, swoop in and take the market over as they did with many previous markets and tech booms before them. Now, I myself have been developing a Unreal Engine 5 game being Penguin Island, a vast metaverse interwoven into a crypto NFT project, which is a really interesting concept. But once again, there's just no interest in anything like this in crypto. But one thing that is going to set everything aside is when big players like Sony start to show these different kind of signs where they are expanding in. They're acquiring exchanges like Whalefin, rebranding them, making the customers that were punished and brutalized whole again, and making everybody leave with a smiley face, wanting to come back, wanting to use and utilize this technology. So this is all really interesting stuff. It definitely really caught my eye. I could talk about this stuff for hours on end. We could keep going into it. We could keep breaking it down. I'm keeping my eye on Japan specifically because they led a lot of different booms moving forward. And I keep saying to people, the XRP boom itself has definitely begun in Japan. And it's going to be one of the first countries that probably use and utilize it the most moving forward. But let me know what you think about all of this. The fact that we're beginning to see big companies like Sony pushing into crypto is absolutely outstanding. And it just goes to show that the GameFi market itself is yet to explode. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell to stay informed. And aside that, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.